How to test semantic labels with zero money, zero coding at any hardware. Step 1. Go to this fucking site. Step 2. Drag an image of whatever in there. That's it. So even a script kitty like you can do it. Anyway, pay attention to that high confidence Ray C label for this picture of Moon. Also peep that Hima cut label on that Asuka pic even though it's a goddamn anime. You know those cringe faces people make for YouTube thumbnails? I'm about to explain to you why they do it. First of all, this pic is less Ray C than Sailor Moon somehow. Also look at that spoof label, it knows it's cringe. Moving on, check the high confidence surprise label that's what YouTube cares about since it wants you to click on it. Quick Mr. Beast thumbnail with low views. It has no high confidence labels for any emotion so shit is not going to be pushed since the algorithm has no data to strategize for. Compare that to one with high confidence anger and surprise. It's one of the most viewed posts and barely has anything in the picture. Same shit with XQC face 2 has no high confidence labels for any emotion so this post won't be recommended too much. Now look at one with 95% confidence surprise. It's one of their most viewed posts. In another post I will explain how this app uses labels like this to tell if you are being fake as fuck and also how YouTube reaction videos use this to learn how to get you to watch ads. This is probably one of the most misunderstood parts of machine learning right now. It is easy as fuck to get a full S description with semantic labels and confidence intervals of what is happening in an image in real time. You can do it right now from your phone or laptop if you want. Every big tech company has their own service that does it with an easy to use API. And yes, it works on videos too. Any person telling you this is an open problem that will take decades to solve is either an academic trying to get a five year grant or someone gate keeping this shit from you. If I cannot figure out what something is in an image, I literally just ask people. I also train for new labels this way. By the way, all the fake gurus on this app telling you they understand the algorithm on here don't know what the fuck they are talking about. All this shit is decided using semantic labels. Things don't go viral randomly and what users do in the first few minutes means fuck all. Time to start making gate-kept code simple to use. A lot of you have asked me what is a good place to start with language models. Mark of Chains is a great place. Most of the language models you interact with online are a version of this. They are seemingly magical because of how simple they are. So, let's make one right now. I will explain it with the comfiest banter I can. I will also put the code in the comments so you can run it yourself. The buzzwords here are in Gram and Mark of Chain, but you can look into that later. Here's what the code does. First, it takes in a bunch of sentences. You can change them to whatever you want. I put in random banter about serial experiments Lane, Evangelion, and Sailor Moon. It goes sentence by sentences and looks at word pairs. So for example, if a sentence says Lane is comfy, it will take the word Lane and the word is as the word pair. It will then look to see which words take place every time it sees Lane is. In this example, it will add the word comfy to that list. The next time it sees Lane is, it will add another word to that list. Some words will show up more times than others, and that is essentially what the mark of chain will try to imitate. Now, the next part of the code simply looks at that list of words that frequently come after word pairs and randomly picks one. The words that show up many times after lane is are more likely to be chosen. The code starts with a random word pair and just randomly puts in a word that it's sampled from that. It keeps doing that until it sees a word pair for the first time. That is it. The code is tiny. It imports nothing other than random. Required Requires zero training time, can run on a literal Game Boy Color, takes less than a second to generate, and with a decent corpus will produce seemingly realistic output. You should be able to press run on the pages I will link and get sentences. As a test, try pressing run until you get an output that combines Lane, Evangelion, and Sailor Moon. Then post your output in the comments. Change the sentences in the corpus to whatever you want for extra fun. Okay, I have to keep this post short. I love you. Good luck. Have fun.